Apartheid was easy because it was so evil. Everybody understood why we had to be anti-apartheid. Uh, it was black against white. It was good against bad. There were t-shirts that children understood. It really was... It had a moral high ground to fight apartheid. Um, one had to speak on behalf of people who had no voice. One had to break the law in order to inform the country. Uh, it was very challenging. Now, in a democracy of 18 years, it is completely different. It's very much more complicated because you speak on your own behalf, not on the behalf of other people, because everybody has a voice. Democracy is never perfect. In our country, it is certainly not perfect, and I think it is a very healthy democracy because it's not perfect. There are problems all the time, which need to be reflected through my work. My biggest problem is that the ANC government is no longer the liberation movement that came to power in 1994. Um, 18 years into this democracy has given us a new generation that were born after democracy happened in 1994. Um, the education has not worked. The ANC has not delivered on education. The ANC has not delivered on promising housing, uh, health, uh, welfare. All the issues that they stood uh, and, and, um, and promised in the light of the apartheid era that gave none of those things to black people have not materialized. I'm very disappointed in the African National Congress and I shall um, say that very loudly because it is my right to use my freedom of speech. There are very good politicians in South Africa. Uh, thank heavens for them. They're in the party, in the ANC, in the opposition, in the right wing white party, the Freedom Front Plus. They are also um, focused on the future of a, a de democracy. And I'm very glad about them, but we need to focus on the, the negative, the greedy, the corrupt, the inept, the liars, the cheats, and we have them in government like every government has them. I think we had a honeymoon that went on for far too long. Uh, I think that we, especially the whites, were so relieved that we got away with the public that we didn't realize that on the day after that election in 1994, we had to start working at reconciliation. Changing street names should have happened 10 minutes after that election. The Hendrik Verwood Boulevard has been around to this day in many cities. It's like having an Adolf Hitler Allee in Germany. And I think that is one of the examples of carelessness. Uh, we have really truly not done our homework as Democrats. Uh, we have not reached out to the majority of South Africans who gave us a second chance. Uh, we allow our negative complaints to rule our lives. Um, I'm very disappointed in uh, the fact that we have not allowed ourselves to remember what our optimism was like in 1994. Uh, even the Soccer World Cup was a good moment for us to be excited, but that didn't last very long. The new generation of South Africans have no sentiment about 1994. They don't care about the struggle. They don't care about Robben Island. They don't care about Nelson Mandela. They don't care about white people or black people. They want a future for themselves. As any young person in any democracy in the world uh, is allowed to demand. Education is not giving them the right to go to university. They go to university because they think it's their it's their democratic right to be given an education and a degree. I think we are in a lot of trouble um, and it's up to us to sort it out. My job is to entertain people with the things they don't want to think about. And by entertainment, I don't mean laughing at things that are funny, but laughing at things that are absurd, things that we will not confront because we're frightened of them. But it's a strange way how theatre can mirror a cracked society. Uh, and that is very important to keep my balance of 49% anger, 51% entertainment. Unfortunately, the ANC is using race as a weapon. 
to to terrorize a minority, not necessarily a white minority. Um, arguments end with the word racist. And I find this very much in my job. I'm a white South African criticizing a black government. It is a very dangerous minefield because it can be seen as racist and I never wanted to be racist. I hate racism. I've fought it all my life. But my disappointment with the ANC government is forcing me into an area which could be seen as racist. Therefore, I have to be extremely careful about the direction I take in my satire. It is, um, it is a pity that we are going back to that area of racism which made apartheid so successful. And I don't think apartheid will ever come back under the same name, but racist politics is around and is proving itself to be very successful among South Africans who really don't want to think for themselves, South Africans who don't want to develop their democratic principles and uh, expect that they will gain wealth uh, by having a racist attitude towards the people that um, they don't understand. There are far too many people in South Africa who are below the poverty line. There are too many young people who have no jobs. There are too many South African voters who don't vote for the future of their country. They vote because of sentimentality, because of the struggle. Um, the reality of Julius Malema, who has suddenly come to the foreground saying things that are very, very important, things that we have, we have to take note of, about poverty, uh, but his motives are very suspect and very dangerous, very fascist. Um, unfortunately, there is a, a culture of entitlement among young South Africans who feel that they are entitled to education, don't realizing that education is something you have to study, that they are entitled to jobs, which they can't do because they haven't had the training. And, and that nonsense, of saying it's our time to eat. I just think it's a bad t-shirt slogan. Uh, and it needs to be made fun of. It's, 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 it's a very bad angle to, to base a future on. Um, entitlement is certainly not part of democracy. Well, Yvette Bessena is now a member of the African National Congress, which is exactly where she belongs because they deserve her. Um, and I think she would be extremely careful what she wrote on the birthday card. She'd probably say, wishing you a wonderful second hundred year era. And very sorry that she won't be there to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the ANC. Um, I personally would have a different message for the ANC. I will say you are now 100 years old. If anyone in my family is 100 years old, I give them a bedpan or a hearing aid. Choose which one of the two you need for the future.